In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an up button, which is essentially a back button for uh, any other activity that leads to your main activity. And it's just essential for making your UI very user friendly. But let's get started immediately by going to our up button folder and creating a new empty activity. And then we'll go straight to our activity main XML and we can close that. And we're gonna change our text view to a button. And this is gonna be used to handle our intent to open our second activity. I'm just gonna name it the second activity and give it an ID of BT button, just to keep it simple. Then we're gonna go straight to our manifest file. And this is actually where we'll do the magic to create the up button. We'll go to our main two activity or your second activity file and give it a parent activity name, which is your main activity. And that is the parent activity. That is the one you want the back button to go back to. Then we're gonna give it some metadata and it's gonna be Android support parent activity with an Android value of your main activity, which is also your parent activity. And essentially that's all the code you need to put in your manifest to create the back button or the up button. Then we're gonna to go to our main activity and set an on click listener for our button so we can open the second activity just to make sure this up button actually works. And we're gonna create an intent, so value i and assign it to intent with the context of this and let it open our main two activity. And then we're gonna start the activity. And if we play it, we will click on the button and you'll see we have an up button at the top. And right now our up button is fully functional, but I want to show you something extra that actually allows you to handle your uh, up button in a more customized way. So we're gonna override on options item selected and we're gonna write when item dot item ID is equal to uh, Android dot R dot ID dot home, which just essentially is the default home button, which is the back button. We're just gonna write finish and return true. Then we're gonna write uh, finish again because this is gonna close our activity. And here you can write your extra, which is gonna be uh, a nice fading animation, but you can essentially enter any kind of code you want that you want to be handled on that back press. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that you can actually manually add some code to that button in case you want to change how it works. But that's actually all there is to creating an up button. I hope this tutorial helped and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.